today's video, I'm going to share the secrets and benefits walking 30,000 steps a day had on me, but more importantly, how it will transform your life. But for that, let's quickly recap the last couple of months. Back in August, when I was working in my banking job, I was easily walking around 15,000 steps a day. The funny thing about it, I wasn't putting much effort to do so. Walking to the bus station, doing lunch walks, or walking a longer distance to the gym. At the moment I've stopped working there, I had some tough first couple of weeks. I didn't have to take the bus to get to my workplace as I was working from home on this channel and other projects. I was so invested in my work and the only time I got myself out of the house when I was going to the gym, my productivity started to drop. I was sleeping only 5-6 to six hours and barely had any energy throughout the day. But things started to change. Ever since I've stepped out of that plane and since I've started my semester abroad in the UK in Cardiff, I increased my steps from 8,000 to 20,000 steps a day. And I did that for nearly two months. Now that's the story behind it, but what was the main purpose with those steps? I wanted to lose weight. That was the main goal. As I was getting closer towards the end of my 90 days weight loss journey, I realized I wouldn't reach my weight goals if I kept it at the same pace. So I started to walk everywhere. I walked 45 minutes to uni and back. I walked 20 minutes to the gym or to buy groceries. To be honest, I didn't have a lot of options there anyways. But instead of taking the bus or bike, I tried to burn more calories through walking everywhere. And it worked. I got closer to my weight goals. I will link my 90 days body transformation video right up here. But things started to change quite quick. In February, I was really trying everything to get monetized on this channel with crazy challenges. The wrong intentions for sure. But since then, I've stopped looking too much after my diet and started a new job. There, I'm working a lot from home whilst I'm getting quite comfortable on the weekends as it's been raining a lot recently and that's ladies and gentlemen why I've decided to do 30,000 steps a day for a whole week good morning guys it's a Sunday morning and I'm already up to get these steps in. that's also at the same time my first tip I can give to you getting these steps early in the morning as Andrew Huberman said this is not some woo biology thing there are literally hundreds if not thousands of quality peer-reviewed papers showing that light viewing early in the day is the most powerful stimulus for wakefulness throughout the day and it has a powerful positive impact on your ability to fall and stay asleep at night. Alright guys, time for a quick maths lecture here. So for every thousand steps you make, you're going to burn around 60 calories. That's when you go on a gentle walk. But if I walk instead of 10,000 steps, 30,000 steps per day, you'll burn an additional 1,200 calories per day. Given the fact that there are 7,700 calories in one kilogram of body fat, and if you kept your diet and everything else constant, ceteris paribus, you would theoretically be able to burn 4.7 kilograms of body fat per month. That's insane, right? Now that's a lot, and exactly what I need in order to get my weight loss journey further rolling. Because walking 30,000 steps a day is nearly 24 kilometers long, which is over a half marathon every day for the next seven days. Good morning guys, just on an extra long walk this morning before I'm going to go to work. In order to get the stupid challenge down, I just need to get some more steps. I'm sleeping currently around five to six hours and I know it's not enough, but as soon as I do more than 15,000 steps a day, I usually feel pretty shattered in the evening so that I fall asleep much faster. Another great tip from my side is getting a smartwatch. It doesn't matter if it's a Fitbit or Apple Watch. I have a Fitbit and I can definitely recommend that to you but simply get aware of how many steps you're doing per day. Another thing is using public transport to get to your workplace or to the gym. I mean it depends if the public transport is reliable in your country but I'm easily doing an extra three to four thousand steps per day and as I'm going to the gym straight after work I walk another 40 minutes additionally. Just heading back home from the gym and making it a good excuse to skip those cardio machines. It is the next morning and I'm working from home today but going on a morning walk again and that's something which I can recommend to you as well. Don't listen to music or podcasts all the time because just let your brain process all the information you're bombarding it with and I think that's also a big lesson for me especially in my evening walks I realized I got my best video ideas then and not when I was just sitting in my room and brainstorming these ideas. You don't have to do this all the time but just in between no music, no podcast. I'm currently on my last month of documenting my body transformation journey. And I can honestly tell you that walking always played a major role during bulking but also shredding seasons. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash that like button.
but after four days I can really tell the difference in my sleep quality. My body automatically shuts down much faster and I can fall asleep a lot easier. Am I sleeping a lot more? Not that much to be honest. Pretty bad idea considering it's my exam preparation weeks right now, but we'll see. As I'm preparing for my exams, I started to adapt to some stupid ideas. Where I was trying to walk around with the laptop to learn and I can tell you. Yeah. This doesn't really work. I could probably do it with books, but not with a laptop though, because that's quite inconvenient. Another great benefit from walking so much is my screen time. Yes, podcast and music is running in the background, but social media was non-existent over these last couple of days. So it is my exam week at the moment. That means I'm off work. But even if I'm working from home, just going on a small, short lunch walk, like 15 to 20 minutes, helps me a lot, especially during lunch. It helps you to process the work you're doing and also energy boost for the afternoon. I mean, Instagram is non-existent in my usage but my laptop screen time is an all-time high working studying planning and editing videos all at one place so it's the last day of this challenge and i'm going to be honest with you guys here i couldn't do those steps in the last couple of days because of my exam preparation and i know i made a promise to myself that i would do these 30,000 steps per day but i believe that those exams are more important nevertheless i lost still about two kilos of body weight in this week i started this week with the weight of 82.6 6 kilos and this morning my body weight was at 80.6 kilos but i'm not going to share my body results if you're interested in that make sure that you subscribe to my channel because i will release my 365 body transformation video pretty soon doing 30,000 steps a day is ridiculous like i wouldn't recommend you doing that because the biggest benefits you get from doing 15 to 20 minutes walks in the morning or in the evenings and for that simply stick to those 10,000 steps per day now if you enjoyed today's video make sure that you smash that like button because it really helps to grow this channel and watch this video right up here where i follow jude bellingham's diet for 24 hours